Mobile Edge Computing. It's a framework for migrating some network application processing tasks to the very edge of the network. Advocates say the technology will be an essential companion to both network functions virtualization and to 5G because next-gen applications will need its sub-millisecond response times. Telecom TV set up its cameras at the recent Mobile Edge Computing Congress in London and asked the Edge Computing Advocates to flesh out that vision. How will Mobile Edge work with network functions virtualization? To what extent might it enable 5G? And what sort of network applications should we expect? First, let's have a quick definition. Who better than Professor Mahadev Sachinarayanan Sacha, who was Carnegie Group Professor of Computer Science and who authored the seminal 2009 publication The Case for VM-Based Cloudlets in Mobile Computing. And that led to the emergence of Mobile Edge Computing. Mobile Edge Computing is a modality of computing in which the endpoint that provides services is located not at the core of the internet, where the cloud services are typically located, but very close to the consumer of those services, which could be at the very edge or close to the edge. The exact location is a variable, and it depends on the deployment, but the important point is proximity. Etsy is involved in defining a framework for mobile edge computing, so I asked the MEC ISG chair, Nurit Sprecher, what's its role? to define or a, an open standardized environment uh, where applications can be hosted in a seamless and efficient way across a multi-vendor environment um, in a way that will ensure that uh, the vast majority of the customers of a particular network operator can be served and the value of the application can be appreciated. So value of application can be appreciated if 70% or 80% of the population is being served. And uh, Etsy, the intention was that it will define specification that will allow this hosting of uh, applications and expose information to these applications in a way which is completely compliant with uh, regulatory and legal requirements and will stimulate innovation, allow application developers and application providers to differentiate and uh, generate value and uh, enable a new uh, value chain, a new ecosystem, energized ecosystem uh, that can drive it and make value out. How do carriers see mobile edge computing aligning with 5G? Actually, I was initially a bit questioning if this is on, 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 on the right radar, because if, if you read the current papers, you don't get that impression at all. But after having a couple of chats with the people around here, it's pretty clear that it's very much on the roadmap. So at least two, three people made it very much to the point that MEC will be an integral part of the 5G architecture, which I very much agree to. So 5G and mobile edge computing will, in effect, be assisting each other. Yes, it has to. So it doesn't help if this mobile edge computing, where by the way, I don't like the mobile so much, it's edge computing. That's an important concept. And in order to fulfill 5G requirements, be it on, 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 on high bandwidth, very locally or low latency, there's no way around going, going to the edge and have a concept for edge computing. So you're all for almost opening up the edge so that you can support different technologies, not just cellular technologies. Could you elaborate on that for me? Yeah, absolutely. That's extremely important if, if that would be bound to 3GBP access only, for example. And we know that a huge amount of, of traffic today is already run, running over Wi-Fi. So if, if, if you're in a session and, and your device is reselecting to Wi-Fi and you're suddenly out of the edge computing uh, coverage, then you may suffer quite a lot from a customer experience perspective. So it must be available over all access technologies. I believe that mobile edge computing is essential for the success of 5G. One of the key drivers of 5G is lower latency. Um, the tactile internet with one millisecond or sub-millisecond latency is often used as a driver of 5G use cases. Well, if your cloud service is located in a distant cloud, even if the first wireless hop is only one millisecond or less, it doesn't help if the rest of the backhaul latency is still large. On the other hand, if you move the cloud service to a cloudlet close to the edge, now 5G becomes valuable. So I would say 
5G needs mobile edge computing to succeed. To the Small Cell Forum, uh, MEC is an intrinsic part of what we've been looking at. We have a strong relationship with Etsy uh, and the ISG, very much looking at what you standardize. We have a close liaison and feed in requirements that we see from the industry, uh, particularly around doing that. And when, if you think about small cells, what you in essence have is a piece of infrastructure at the edge of your network already, which is uh, a base station, but quite often that has an application-based processor that sits with it. So we've, also, we've already looked at use cases around location and processing of that data at the edge uh, and feeding that out and what you need to do to enable that more broadly. And so we've worked with the OMA and pushed in a location API as part of that. And we continue to work on new services in and around and driving more value and flexibility at the edge. To what extent might mobile edge computing in general, and your application in particular, enable new business models and new players to emerge, especially in the enterprise market? If you look at lots of the creativity that happens in and around applications, it comes from applications providers and not necessarily uh, from operators. So I think you know, the mindset that people very much have is what you need is a system which is flexible and understandable and manageable, but it does allow this creativity from you know, the people that really do excel at, at taking you know, these platforms that are available and the hooks that are available and creating rich and exciting applications for customers, whoever those customers may be. But there's definite some movement in the industry in and around neutral hosting and what you do to provide one set of infrastructure but then enable that to multiple operators in terms of you know, enabling the service to, to their customers but not only that but you know, how do you enable the applications interfaces that could sit there at the edge or even the edge compute that you could use to, as an infrastructure at an edge service, so you know, to actually do some of the physical network processing at the edge. There's a fascinating plethora, I would say, of opportunities there, and we'll see a whole, uh, you know, a whole variant of those as we move forward uh, over time. Definitely an exciting time. What sort of applications do you expect carriers and others to deploy using edge computing techniques? That's one that needs a lot of brain power because moving things to the edge doesn't make things cheaper. So the more you distribute, the more costly it gets. So you, you need to be very careful and only run in the edge from my perspective what you have to run there, mainly because of physical limitations. So we still have a latency problem because of speeds of light and we not overcome that that quickly. We have a topic to, to provide high bandwidth, cost efficiently locally, so all applications that really need that kind of, of, of characteristics, they are good candidates, but even then you need to very well understand what is the implication, can it be done, does it make my whole solution more, more cost efficient and does it in, in increase customer uh, experience uh, in a sense that it's worth to, to go that way. I think that MEC will not be um, what it should be without caching. Caching is a must-have MEC. Uh, uh, requirement, a must-have MEC component. Uh, I think there's a recognition, you can see caching pretty much everywhere on the MEC Etsy uh, um, uh, brochures. So yeah, caching is, is a necessity. In order to get the business case right, in order to make a business case for this edge computing thing, uh, a lot of thought needs to be spent in software architecture, what part of the software can run in such an environment and keeping the environment uh, efficient uh, and, and not trying to move today's functions which sometimes are rather complex and have high demands on, 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 the, on the platform they are running on, including security demands. Uh, if, if I want to distribute that out to the edge, most likely I cannot operate that in a cost-efficient manner. So there is a quite a severe re-architecture and, and purpose design of applications required to run in an edge computing node. So what about that mobile tag? I asked Dirk Lundemeyer from Network Edge Computing Pioneer, Nokia Networks. In fact, most of the operators today are, are converged operators, so it doesn't make sense to isolate the topic to mobile only. It, it needs to be multi-access um, in any case. Now that we have done it for, for mobile networks, everything from here on is easier uh, if we go into, into fixed networks. Um, and essentially, to you as the, or to us as, as uh, end users, it shouldn't really matter whether you're on Wi-Fi or on LTE or whatever access type, so it should just work from a service point of view. And, and that's how we also work, so um, that's um, important to not stop with the mobile only.